Hello, this is Dr. Donald Kornman. We're going to view a video of a microdiscectomy of a lumbar herniated disc at L5-S1, the lowest level in the lumbar spine. Here's a side view of the MRI, and you can see the disc herniation at the bottom level. This is a top-down view of a normal level, and then the next level you'll see has the herniation on that right side that's pressing on the nerve root. That's causing this patient significant leg pain. Our incision that we make, as you can see, is less than an inch long. These are some of the tools that we utilize to do the surgery, and these tools you'll see during the video look to be much larger than normal simply because of the magnification that we use from the microscope. We actually make our approach on the very side of the vertebra between the bottom of the lamina, and here you can see a little laminotomy, a little bit of bone taken away. This is the actual view of the lamina, and this is the area that we're going to start to remove some of the bone. Here's a burr, and the burr is taking off a little bit of bone, and now we're going to undermine that bone and remove it so we have a little window that we can get into the spinal canal. Here you can see using this kerosene rongeur to remove the bone, and then what we'll do is we'll start to remove the ligamentum flavum. The ligamentum flavum, as you see here, is a vestigial ligament that really doesn't help us much as far as day-to-day -day living, and it's easily removed. Here now you can see the nerve root. The nerve root's being pressed up against us, and we're going to start to mobilize the nerve. The nerve tends to get stuck from that disc herniation, and what we do is we move the nerve, and then we find the hole where the herniation is coming out. And here you can see a small nerve hook is getting into the defect where the herniation is. We start to mobilize it. This material is very, very adhesive. And once we mobilize it, then we can grab it and pull it out of the canal. Once we pull it out of the canal, as you can see, the nerve has substantial relief of pressure. Here, as we grab it, we can pull the fragment out, and here you can see how large that fragment is. The nerve is now decompressed from removing the fragment. There's always a hole in the back of the disc. That hole is the egress point for this herniation. We reach through that hole, and any loose fragments that are still within the disc, we remove. Here you can see the nerve root is now free, and we can probe underneath the nerve root to make sure that the nerve has total freedom. It should be able to move about a centimeter, and here you can see it does. We use a nerve probe underneath the nerve to make sure there are no fragments that are hiding and make sure that the nerve is fully free. That's what we're doing here. We go across the canal also. That consists of the entire microdiscectomy for the lumbar spine.